Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're tackling an intriguing question from one of our viewers. Is it possible to dynamically set a component's at input at runtime? This is a challenge many Angular developers encounter, especially when working with dynamic components. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. In Angular, it is indeed possible to dynamically set a component's inputs at runtime. Let's explore how to achieve this using the Component Factory Resolver. First, we need to create a component reference using the component factory resolver. This allows us to instantiate the component dynamically. Once we have the component reference, we can access the instance of the component. This instance will allow us to set the inputs dynamically. To set the inputs, you can directly assign values to the properties that correspond to the at input fields of the component. For example, if your component has an input named data, you can set it like this. In summary, you can dynamically set at input properties on a component created at runtime by accessing the instance and assigning values to its properties. This allows for flexible and reusable components in your Angular applications. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In Angular, you cannot dynamically set a component's input properties at runtime. This is because the Angular compiler creates a factory for each component, defining which input properties to track during compilation. If inputs are not defined before this process, Angular won't update them. However, you can manually update a child component's input from the parent component after the view initializes. This allows you to change the property and trigger the on changes lifecycle hook for the child component. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. Yes, you can dynamically set a component's input at runtime. One user created a class called Dynamic Component Change Builder to facilitate this process. To add inputs, you can use the add input method, specifying the input name and value. Finally, Call commit to apply the changes. The class also tracks changes and triggers ngon changes for dynamically loaded components, ensuring that updates are handled correctly. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your questions and hopefully found that solution that you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.